Uh, good morning. This is called The Visit. Ruth went to her mailbox and there was only one letter. She picked it up and looked at it before opening. But then she looked at the letter again. There was no stamp, no postmark, only her name and address. Uh, she opened the envelope and read the letter. It said, Dear Ruth, I'm going to be in your neighbourhood Saturday afternoon and I'd like to stop by for a visit. Love always, Jesus. Her hands were shaking as she placed the letter on the table. Why would the Lord want to visit me? I'm nobody special. I don't have anything to offer. With that thought, Ruth remembered her empty kitchen cabinets. Oh my goodness, I really don't have anything to offer. I have to run down to the store and buy something for dinner. She reached for her purse and counted out um, her coins. Five dollars and forty cents. Well, I can get some bread and some cold cuts at least. She threw on her coat and hurried out the door. A loaf of French bread, a half pound of sliced turkey and a carton of milk. Leaving Ruth with a grand total of twelve cents to last her until Monday. Nonetheless, she felt good as she headed home, her meagre offerings tucked under her arm. Hey lady, came a voice, can you help us? Ruth had been so absorbed in her dinner plans, she hadn't even noticed two figures huddled in the, in the alleyway, a man and a woman, both of them dressed in little more than rags. Look lady, I ain't got a job. You know, my wife and I have been living out here on the street, and well, now it's getting cold, we're really kind of hungry. And if you'd help us, lady, we'd really appreciate it. Ruth looked at them both. They were dirty, they smelt bad, and frankly, she was certain they could get some they could get some kind of work if they really wanted to. Sir, I'd like to help you, but I'm I'm a poor woman myself, and all I have is a few cold cuts and some bread, and I'm having an important guest for dinner tonight. And I was planning on serving that to him. Yeah, well, okay, lady, I understand. Thanks anyway. The man put his arm around the woman's shoulders turned and headed back into the alley. As she watched him leave, Ruth felt a familiar twinge in her heart. Sir, wait. The couple stopped and turned as she ran down the alley after them. Look, why don't you take the, this food? I'll figure out something else to serve my guest. She handed the man her grocery bag. Thank you, lady. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. It was the man's wife. And Ruth could see now that she was shivering. You know, I've got another coat at home. Why don't you have this one? Ruth unbuttoned her jacket, slipped it over the woman's shoulders. Then smiling, she turned and walked back to the street without her coat, uh, without nothing to serve her guest. Ruth was chilled by the time she reached her front door and worried too. The Lord was coming to visit and she didn't have anything to offer him. She fumbled through her purse for the door key, but as she did, she noticed another envelope in her mailbox. That's odd. The mailman doesn't usually um, come twice in one day. She took out the envelope out of the box and opened it, and it said this. Dear Ruth, it was good to see you again. Thank you for the lovely meal, and thank you too for the beautiful coat. Love always. Jesus. In Matthew 25 it says, When you did it to the least of these, my brethren, you did it unto me. Have a great day. God bless you.